And he said, Grandma, I thought I was going to die. Lord Zephyr can erase how close she came to losing her nine-year-old grandson, Derek, two weeks ago. Within blocks of his school, Derek was hit by a car on 9th Street in Park Slope. And there's a huge crowd, ambulances, police cars, lights. But what's going through my head is, I don't want to see what I'm going to see. Badly banged up, covered in bruises, but today, thankfully, Derek is okay, at least physically. Emotionally, Lord says her whole family is shaken, and she's now working to do her part in ensuring no other family suffers as they did. It isn't about Derek. It's about all of us doing a proactive action. While Derek is one of the lucky ones, it's been a deadly week on the streets of New York for others. Six deaths in such a short period of time has some asking, is the mayor's Vision Zero plan working? City officials today holding a press conference answering yes to that question. Progress is not always going to be linear. And, you know, this year, if, if the trends sort of hold, it will nonetheless be the second safest year. <laughs> The number of cyclists killed from last year to this year went up considerably. Last year, only two. This year, 17. DOT Commissioner Polly Trottenberg says while some numbers appear alarming, their data shows improvements. And it is why officials across the city remain committed to Vision Zero. Plans to add more traffic cameras, increase the number of bike lanes will all continue. But there will also once again be a renewed commitment to enforcement. Please slow down and drive carefully. 11 days into his new role, the NYPD's new transportation chief. What enforcement is designed to do is to change behavior. So we, we do this enforcement, it's done publicly, folks see it happening, and we hope that it affects the larger group of people. You know, unfortunately, we're going to have difficult years like this one. And, you know, I think from, from DOT and I know from NYPD's point of view, that just sort of spurs more commitment and more creativity on our part.